All right, uh, last day of November 2016. Getting ready to go out for my ride today. It's pouring down rain, so I'm uh, trying to weather weatherproof myself as much as I can uh, for the day. I'm gonna do a few things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ride my Cirrus. My, my general plan is that I'm gonna use the GS, the Genesis GS29 on rainy days, but I, I wanna ride farther than I, yeah, the Genesis. It's a mountain bike. And if I ride 15 miles on it, that's just about all I want to do with it. And uh, so, um, and I want to ride more farther than that today. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Cirrus. I took off the computer because I know that it just doesn't like water. Uh, so I took it off of it uh, today. Um, got on a you know a rainproof coat with a hood on it, and uh, got the hat on here so that it just keeps the water off of my. You know, in the sun time it keeps the sun out of my eyes, but in the rain it keeps the rain out of my eyes. And uh, so I've got that. I, I had bought these uh, weatherproof overshoes from Aerotech Designs, and the first pair I bought uh, the zipper broke when putting them on the first time, and they replaced them, and. Uh, the zipper broke the second time I tried to put them on. They're a neoprene and stretching them over my feet to get them on is a little bit of a challenge. Um, I don't think that it's because they're too small and any larger and, and they just, my feet would be swimming in them. But I do have to stretch over my, uh, the, the, uh, the ball area of my feet and, and uh, maybe that's what did it. I had it on like that, but the zipper came off just right from the very start. Uh, so I sent in an email to them. I don't know if they'll replace them again or not. And uh, so I have on these little, uh, they're, they're, they're a little toe protector, a neoprene toe protector. And they don't keep my feet dry at all, but uh, they'll keep the, my toes warmer a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put my uh, iPhone inside uh, just a sandwich bag uh, in my pocket to keep it a little bit better. This coat that I have on, it is uh, rubberized, uh, but but with this much rain, I'll get wet underneath it uh, anyway. And uh, I was also thinking uh, today, um, I've just about I've finished now nine months of riding, and a little over 3,000 miles. And so I'm averaging over those nine months, I've averaged about 300 miles a month. And I was looking at it when I started out in February, 20, about the 21st, uh, 23rd of February is the first day that I journaled a ride. I did, uh, I did 2.5 miles in, uh, in 25 minutes. <laughs> and uh, I can remember back then, if I rode five miles, I thought my seat was killing me. <laughs> and, and still on the, on the mountain bike, um, you know, when I'm done with 15 miles, I'm, my seat's done there. Uh, not, it's not hurting like it was back in those days, but it isn't, it's not as comfortable. So anyway, I have seen progress and, uh, and, and clothes fit differently and, and my knee has stopped hurting. Um, I don't know what would happen if I quit riding, but the, you know, my knee is strong now and it stopped hurting. So things like that are working out real well for me. So here I go. All right, well, I just finished my ride uh, for today. Uh, just over 25 miles. Uh, it was quite the ride. When I started out, the rain was coming down pretty hard. So I got pretty soaked and, um, and then um, on the second part of my ride, uh, I rode into the wind. So the ride that I do, my route is not exactly, but kind of straight north south. And so it's about, the, the, I, I go about eight miles um, uh, south and then, and then turn and come back north about eight miles. And uh, so coming back, um, the headed south, going south uh boy i was i was headed directly into the wind and just pushing the wind all of the way for probably 10 miles of the ride i think i was probably just pushing straight in the wind so it was a little bit brutal although i'm not complaining it was a good ride and glad i did it and but but i'm also glad it's done 